Hi everybody. In this part of the series I would like to show how I make perfect holes in a bent surface. So I start with a square, make it uh, something I can remember well, like 100 by 100, zero out all these positions, drop the tool A to center the view, hit the tool key, edge mode, Alt C, with a count of 3. That looks not bad. Drop the tool, then select these edges, Alt C again, drop the tool, 3 for poly mode, select these four polygons, hit the delete key. We have now a square which holds its outer shape pretty well, and we have 8 edges, so we need a circle with eight edges. I make it in the middle, about this size here, maybe 25 by 25, and zero out this one, drop the tool, hitting the, by hitting the space key with uh, poly mode, to use the three key, B for bevel, bevel this in a bit, and hit delete. Now go to edge mode by hitting the tool key, shift select this edge and bridge. Drop the tool. Now here comes the most important thing. If I would just leave this as it is, it would look terrible. And we would have way too many edges. So let me select these edges here, go to vertex mode, set position, x minus 50, drop the tool, then go select these edges, again set position, plus 50 this time, drop the tool, drop the selection, go to vertex, merge, and let's merge these words. Now it looks on, we have eliminated the outer uh, vertices here. Next, we duplicate this. So, uh, let me go to duplicate, clone, we make nine clones and we have a total of ten. Click in the viewport and bring them out by exactly 100 millimeters. Drop the tool, go to vertex mode again, merge these words, 40, that sounds good. Next we will deform this by bending it, so I click here in the viewport, oh that was spot on, spot on, usually I have to correct these values and these ones, and we bend it around the Y by 360 degrees, drop the tool, go to vertex, merge, merge automatic, OK, and now go basic mode, center select it all, hit the A key, go perspective, and I need to flip, I should have bent it by minus 360. So, so far so good except that I now have exactly what I didn't want to have. You see now, here these spiders, they are really looking very, very ugly. So let's undo that stuff and go back to the single one here and let's fix these ugly spiders by selecting these edges here and these ones, hit Alt C with a count of 1 and slice selected only, drop the tool, use the C key for edge slice. I must deselect, of course, first C key for edge slice and slice. these here by pressing the shift key, 
shift slice again, this one, drop the tool. Now we can select these edges here and delete them with the backspace key. I go again to the front view, hit the A key to center the view, bring this out a bit and now I will duplicate, clone it and click in here, bring them out and I want to have them exactly 100 millimeters. Drop the tool, vertex mode again, merge, 45 words merge, that sounds not so bad. Okay, next thing is we will bend this, so deform, bend, click in here, this must be one meter and here we have minus 50 and 50 in here and of course around the y-axis and this time I know I need minus 360. Drop the tool, vertex mode, merge and merge them together. <coughs> Hit the A key to center the view, ah, but first we must center all, A key again, perspective, and now when I hit the tab key, I have a marvelous surface. But the problems are not finished. Polygon thicken. Click in the viewport, blue handle, other way around. And you see the problem now, as further in as I go, as more oval the inner side becomes. So we have to fix this. <clears throat> Let me find a good view to do that. So top is not, that's not good. So the right view is okay. So I select some polys here, go to top view. Now I know which ones I need, these here. Then reverse the selection, hit the delete key and go back to the right view, select these polys, go to left view, shift select these polys and hit the H key to hide them. I go now to wireframe mode, zoom in on this here, symmetry over the set, hit the T key for transform tool and move the inner words to where they belong or so they match the outer words and we have a perfect circle again. Same here. So we're done. Symmetry off and go back to OpenGL and unhide perspective view. I must tighten some edges now. So select an edge in here, shift select, not these, one here, shift select here, Alt C with the count of two and of course without slice selected, bring it out to about so, drop the tool and here we have our perfect hole in a bent surface. Now let's <coughs> radial array this around and bring it back to the original form. So top view, go to duplicate, radial array, account of 10, replace source, merge words, which doesn't work in most cases, action center, origin and click in here. Now let's see that looks almost right. That looks almost right but not quite. Here it is a bit funky and here so edge mode select all these edges here hit the R key bring them down to zero on the X, drop the tool, go
go back to vertex mode and merge these words. And you see it merges another 28. But now we are done. No, we are not done. We have uh, still a problem. Now we are done. So let me get rid of the wireframe, now the grid. And here we are. And you see the N-gons here, they do not, they are not a problem, not at all. The spiders which uh, we had before would be way worse. So let me make a quick render with a shiny material. Uh, copper is as good as any other shiny material. Like so. So F9. And here we are. That's all for now. So thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye. See you another time. Bye.